a no more stinky monkey dot com production. Growing up, when you go to a backyard barbecue, the music you usually heard was oldies, rock and soul hits from the 50s, 60s, and early 70s. And the station that played those in New York was WCBS FM. It was music that old people didn't mind, the parents loved, and the kids usually liked. Songs like Da Do Ron Ron, Tina Turner's River Deep Mountain High, and Then He Kissed Me. <laughs> Forget about like, I love these songs. They were short, simple, passionate, and fun. And they were all written by the same person, Ellie Greenwich. Who? That's what I said. But on August 26th, Ellie died of a heart attack and left behind a legacy of pop and rock music that few men or women could ever equal. She produced many of Neil Diamond's early hits like Kentucky Woman and came up with the <clears throat> and sang the background on Cherry Cherry. She's got the way to move me, Cherry, which everyone remembers. Reading her obituary in Rolling Stone, I'm more floored. I was floored by how much this woman accomplished, but more shocked that I never heard of her. I like to consider myself a pretty good student of rock and roll history, and certainly knew enough about her associate, Carol King, and the music factory they worked for, the Brill Building. But I knew almost nothing about Ellie Greenwich. She was born in Brooklyn and raised in Long Island. And when she was 21 years old, was hired to write at the Brill Building with other big talents like Neil Sedaka and Sonny Bono. As Sedaka says, that's when songs about teenagers were written by teenagers. Now you hear her songs at every wedding, including in Chapel of Love. You hear Bill Murray sing Do Wah Diddy and Stripes. And you hear the classic opening drum riff, boom, ba boom, 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 ba boom, boom, to be my little baby in both Mean Streets and Dirty Dancing. She has so many hits, they made a Broadway musical out of them and named it after one of her classics, Leader of the Pack. I remember that show, but remember the producers promoting it as the music of Jerry Lieber and Mike Stoller, who originally produced it, but she wrote it. <laughs> Back in the early 60s, writers were way in the background and were neither seen nor heard. But as big stars like Bob Dylan, the Beatles, and Stones started writing their own music, the art of songwriting became a much more cherished industry. People who do it now become stars in their own right, people like Timberland. <laughs> Ellie Greenwich deserved a much more attention both before and after her death. And I hope you think of her and all the smiles she gave you the next time you hear one of her songs. And there she was, just walking down the street from the front of her.